Well, tonight we're getting new insight into a USF professor's 100 days underwater. Dr. Joseph Deturi, known as Dr. Deep Sea, surfaced after setting a record for the longest time lived underwater at ambient pressure. 10 Tampa Bay photojournalist Daisy Charlotte spoke to him just hours ago for a deeper dive into why he set out on this mission. When I retired from the Navy, I was a submersible expert. Well, I got a call from James Cameron's people. He designed a submersible, went to the bottom of the Mary Ash Trench. Turns out that he found a sea lice at the bottom of the Mary Ash Trench. We pulled the DNA sample off it. It was a partial cure for Alzheimer's. I'm writing this report and I said, I think everything we need is on this planet. One thing might have a disease, but the other's gotta have a cure. It kinda sorta makes sense. So that's kind of the path down which we started traveling. It was great that we made a record, we did a thing, and that was a terrific thing because, you know, we were able to get a little more publicity and push the thing that we really wanted to do, which was exploring, preserving, protecting, and rejuvenating our marine environment, and then figuring out what, ha what happens to the individual that you leave in that spot. I'll set the lights down low. I wanted to solidify for the world the mechanism of action of hyperbaric medicine so that they could go, oh, it's an anti-inflammatory. Oh, he's got good data that says it. Second thing that we wanted to do was talk to thousands of kids. And we wound up talking to almost 5,000 students. So we can learn a lot from the ocean and the creatures in it. I have a little circular window that I would sit back up against it and I would high five everybody. We won as soon as we started getting the kids. As soon as you start getting the kids. That's the job of the mission, right? High five them, take the time, high five them. That is awesome. During the mission, by the way, Dr. Deep Sea recorded several health benefits, including a drop in cholesterol, reduction in inflammation, and a significant increase in REM sleep. You can imagine he slept better down there. No distractions, really, other yeah. than the fish and maybe the kids. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah that, that is terrific, it. though. What an amazing we mission. We talk about the healing, the healing properties of the ocean, right? Yeah. He truly submersed himself in it in so many different aspects. Yeah. I mean, that's something that we can move forward and actually hopefully do more research on.